would do you think that you'll move back to Texas eventually? Yes, I know. Um, when I first buy a house, I want it to be in Texas. Mm-hmm. It's probably the it's cheap. You'll get a lot more bang for <laughs> yeah. your out there than for you real. will here. Oh my god. Oh, god. So, what is it about Texas that you love so much? Like, what draws you back there? Oh man, I love the people, um, especially in Austin, where I'm from. I mean, I don't really go outside of Austin a lot. Um, but yeah, the people are so nice. Like everyone's, no one's trying to come up off of each other. Mm-hmm. It seems, um, and the landscape. I love open land and mm-hmm. like being able to frolic in the the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so you say people aren't trying to come up on you. So you're feeling that very like showbiz kind of fair weather friend I, thing yeah. out here. Like in a way, like I I feel like. I've experienced more judgment here mm-hmm. and yeah, I just don't want to surround myself with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting because I was born and grew up in LA mm. and I definitely see that. I see that mm-hmm. whole, you know, you, you're you talking to someone and they're looking, you know, at a party and they're looking around the room to see if there's someone more important that they mm-hmm. could be talking to you about. And then people are only interested in terms of what you can give them because there's a lot of social climbers here mm-hmm. because they're trying to get into show business and that kind of stuff. So I definitely see a lot of that. But, you know, for me, having grown up here, like I have mm-hmm. my family here and I'm really close to my family. Yes. So I have that that home base, which keeps me anchored here. But I feel like if I didn't, I would also struggle with mm-hmm. living in this city. No, for sure. And, you know, I found that like people from L.A., are cool. They're cool as fuck. Mm -hmm. And it's always like, (laughs) I don't get it. (laughs) Because it's like everybody's trying, you know, they're coming here to try to make it. Yeah, true. And I guess if you're from here, it's... Yeah. yeah. And it's hard. It's, I think a lot of times you get people from their small home, you know, smaller hometown Mm -hmm. and they were the best looking person there. They were the best musician, actress, whatever there. Mm -hmm. And then they think, Oh, and then they come to LA and yeah, there's and then you're literally like, yeah. like millions of beautiful, talented years, people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's funny when I, when I'm here in LA and <laughs> I always feel fat and ugly and old <laughs> just because, you know, it's like we're surrounded by stunning people and then I'll go to another state and I'll be like, you know, I'm okay yeah. looking. Like, yeah. I'm like, right. have you ever heard like, oh, I'm a seven in Texas, but I'm a eight in Detroit or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. That's it's it is absolutely um and I don't see it until I like leave uh, the city, but I'm like, wow, you forget mm-hmm. how people here it's just very unrealistic. I know, yeah. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean yeah, a lot of high standards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um so you were stripping before you got into uh what made you want to start dancing? Um Oh, wow. I don't know. I mean, since like middle school, I had been like joking, but not really about, oh, I want to be a stripper. Let's, yeah, I go to the club. And then I turned 18, took me like, I was going to do it on my 18th birthday. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> I got nervous. And then two days after, I finally did it. And what was your first experience like? <sighs> it was so awesome. Really? Yeah. I mean, it was, I loved the people in the club. I loved my club, to be exact. Um, and I felt welcomed there. The, go- the girls were nice. It was great. Mm-hmm. It's so interesting how people have, like, very different experiences depending mm-hmm. on where they go. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I, yeah. And Agreed. so you went on stage, and did you feel like, like, did you make good money that night? Um, I think I made, it was probably like only $500 still a lot though for my, yeah. That's a lot Mm -hmm. for a few hours of work one day. I mean, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. After working at IHOP and being a janitor, like, yeah. You were a janitor? Yeah. Really? At a mall. (laughs) At a mall? Yeah. It was so bad. (laughs) Oh man. I was, I joined because my friend was working there and he's a Capricorn like me, like, but very... I don't even know. Just no one you've ever met before. Just crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so we worked together, then he got fired. So I was just like, whatever, I'm, I'll, I'll quit too. <laughs> so you, you, once he left, you were like, I'm not doing this janitor mm-hmm. job anymore. Yeah, but it helped that my other two friends worked at the mall too. So we would just be fucking around. <laughs> Have you done like a janitor themed shoot? 
No. I feel like you should. I should. You should be like a hot janitor, oh like mopping God. the floors with like your tits hanging out. Oh, God, I should. I feel like that would be really good. I think you should tell browsers that and I should shoot it. Yes, I'm so down. <laughs> okay, I will. I will. Hey, guys. If you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.